Ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raven Martha, and today I'm back with an office or school makeup tutorial. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to start off with cleaning my face using a face wipe. And then I'm going to go with a spoolie in order to put my eyebrows in shape. If you don't have it, you can use a toothbrush. I'm going to use an eye pencil from the DV 2-in-1 in order to shape my eyebrows plus filling them in. And with cleaning my brows, I'm going to use concealer from the Articast plus a flat brush. When you're applying the concealer, make sure that you apply on both sides of the brush so that later you can use the excess as your eyeshadow base. And in using the concealer, don't start from exactly in the inner corner of your eyebrows. In a corner, I'm going to use foundation and that's the BB Plus in the shade number 3 and I'm still going to apply on both sides and make sure that when you're applying you start from the area near in the middle of your nose going to the outer part of your brows and we're using foundation because it will be easy when you're blending later. I'm still going to use the foundation in the upper part of my brows till it's the same reason. It will be easy when you're blending later. So note that on with one of my brushes in order to remove the excess concealer and foundation. To go on with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder in order to set my eyelids, you know, that's to create an eyeshadow base and make sure that you remove the excess. With this kind of look, that's the office or work or school. You can just leave the eyelids like that or add some eyeshadow, and with that, make sure that you go with a neutral shade. And I'm going to go with that brown. I'm going to go on with my eyeliner in order to draw something like a wing and make sure that you don't do a too long wing. Keep it simple. Mascara I'm going to go on with one from the Kaylee and since it's an office or work or school, you don't need those eyelashes. So with this I'm doing it to add more volume to my eyelashes and also to remove any eyeshadow particles on and apply primer in order to give a longer lifespan to my makeup throughout the day and still I'm going to go on with the BB plus in the shade number three and apply it on my face And then go on with the beauty blender in order to blend everything very well. Mm -hmm. 
with highlighting i'm going to go on with the concealer from the high articles and highlight under my eyes on the bridge of the nose on the mustache area on the chin and on the forehead and still to blend that in i'm going to use beauty blender to minimize getting those harsh lines i don't know if you have ever experienced that i'm going to go on with my foundation brush and blend everything very well with setting i'm still going to use the sasha buttercup setting powder and this time around i'm not going to bake i'm going to apply it on the areas where i've highlighted Go on and contour using my powder from the MAC. Make sure that the powder you're using to contour is at least two shades darker than your skin shade. And I'm going to do this using a, an angled brush under my cheeks and at the upper part of the forehead. I'm going to contour my nose too and make sure that when you're doing this you move from the upper part going to the downer part and with setting my makeup i'm going to go on with the la girl setting spray go on with the febo vivid baked highlighter but this time around i'm going to just highlight the tip of my lips and leave the other areas since it's an office look i'm going to go on with the brown lip paint so that's from the Davis and line my lips go on with a nude shade from the my color lipstick it at the center of my lips and then blend everything very well make sure that you don't leave lines of the that brown lip paint so yes beauties this is the final look don't forget to like share comment and subscribe see you in my next video bye bye